This video is specifically for the Rhino forum in which we were discussing using the M1 Mac to run Rhino 7.6. So I'm just going to quit this screen and reopen. So here we are with the model in shaded view. And as you can see, the render performance is great. You can move the model around with ease. Okay. And now I'm going to switch to Arctic mode, which I find a little bit slow right now. And I find this error happens often, even on my Windows version, where objects and pieces and drawings will disappear when the memory usage gets really high. So I have to purge or remove some files and reload them. But other than that, the render performance on the objects that are still around is pretty good. And you can see small details here. Okay. And I even have some text in the object, which I find is, I don't know, it so somehow slows down Rhino. It's a mystery. Pen mode. A lot of these rendered modes load a little bit slow. And when I have complex models, it does get bogged down. But this also happens on the PC as well. Let's go into rendered mode and then I'll get into ray traced. Ray traced I find fairly decent. Performance is decent. Okay, now ray traced. So when you can see in the ray traced version that some of the objects have now reappeared. I don't know how that works, but I guess when you go into ray trace mode, it seems to re reload the cache of whatever objects. I haven't experienced those blue blinking video errors before, but it's a new thing. It's fine though, like it's pretty stable. I don't get many crashes. And when it does crash, I can recover fairly well um, because the autosave system is really robust on Mac, especially in Big Sur. So that's what I'm running. So that's the general speed. So I'm going to go back to shaded view now and I'm going to open up the drawing sheet that I've laid out. And as you can see, the performance is a little bit slow, but I find it fairly slow anyway on any computer, especially when I put in a lot of complex layouts with a lot of associated notes. So as you can see, I have a rendered view off to the side. I've got pen mode here and then another rendered view. And since I'm on Mac, the PDF exporting options are fairly smooth. I just don't like the way that <laughs> the <laughs> export functions, but that doesn't really matter right now. So I'll save this out. Okay, this is new. Okay, it worked. Check it out. So there we go. 
comes out nice. I haven't had really any printing errors with this kind of stuff. And uh, I've, I've, I really like the way the Mac version works. I've just transitioned over from the Windows version. And so far, so good. There's a small error here in terms of rendering out the color. So I might, I might just end up fixing that in Photoshop if I have to. It could be overlapping objects. I'll have to double check that. But this is just the general performance output. So I hope you like it.